Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. My name is Crazy Sugoi, and in this video, I'm simply going to be showing you how you can make money using your alts in this game, and it won't cost you a single dollar. The most thing, the most that this is going to cost you is just time. With that said, let's get started, and let me go ahead and show you what is all new for 2021. Check it out. So here I am on my alt Sugoi 3 and this is just an alt account that I've created in the game. I don't use it for PvP. I use it solely for the purposes of um, strengthening my primary ship and just getting extra items when they're in the item shop. Now for what I'm going to be showing you today, it's as simple as creating an item that is high value in the game and then selling that item for in-game currency which is bucks and the item we're going to be looking at is the gingo gingjo whatever i'm not trying to do a bad chinese accent or asian accent here but um i i just call it the gingo i don't know what it's pronounced as and then we also have this right here the hgh which is just a series of letters thank god and we also have the large pink cow. I know what you're thinking and it's not that. <laughs> this is the item right here. And these are consumable items and you'll notice right away that these items are priced at 400 bucks above on average. Here's how you get these items. Now once you have a ship that is your alt account, I call them blender ships. What I'm going to do is show you and I'm going to be moving a little bit fast here, so bear with me. For this video, you're going to be needing your collectors, which are here, your bio recycler room, which you can find in the shop, and this is where you're going to be at. So there's an in-game currency known as DNA that you get from recycling crew, from the crew drop. So right here, this is already at 1655 out of 5000 and the cost for the Gingo the pink cow and the HGH, the HGH rather, the highest selling items, is 1600 DNA. So I'll go ahead and choose, um, I'm going to start calling this the pill from now on. And there you go, I have it in my bag. Now I'm back down to 55. Now I go to the shop at the right, I go to the crew menu, and here you can see that I can get 12 crew, as indicated on the left here, for 500 gas. Or rather, one crew for 500 gas. So I collect this daily, it's 500 gas each time. I don't really wait for it to actually populate and show me the crew because it takes time for the animation to come up and I'd rather just spam it to be honest with you. So I keep getting two star crews here, keep getting two star crews. Occasionally you'll get a one star, occasionally you'll get a three star. And I'm referring to the rarity which is actually in diamonds but whenever I try to say it really fast it just comes out as star. So we've got a three-star crew right there, Robina Hoots, um, basically a Robin Hood type character. This is a level two crew right here, not very good. This is a, uh, looks like level one probably, level two crew right there. And this is, um, this is a rarity two crew as well. Let me see if I can correct my language here because same rarity and level are two different things. We've got rarity 3 with our FED, FED medic and we've got our Emily crew which is rarity 3 as well and you see that I can no longer draw another crew and at the top right it's 0 of 12 so that's all the crew I can draw for today. Let me go ahead and collect this completed objective whatever it is. So that crew is finished for today. So what I would do is I go ahead and blend these level, um, the rarity three crews, right? And this crew, this alt ship is empty. Let me transition right quick over to Sugoi 4. So here I am on Sugoi 4, which is another level 12 alt ship of mine. Let me go ahead and pull it up here and you see that this ship isn't really equipped for PvP. I've got my MLZs which are um, set up as gas mining lasers and I've got my resource collectors which I'm collecting here and I do that on a daily. Now this is at 345 of 400, right? And I'm able to draw 12 crew for today at 1.6 gas. 
which is a little higher than before because why is it moved from 12 to 10? Am I the only one noticing that? Why is it why does it go from 12 to 10 instead of 12 to 11? Hmm. I'm going to take a closer look at that on the next on the next alt. That's twice I've seen it happen now. So as I draw more crew, you realize that it costs more and more gas to collect that crew. Now it's at 8,500, and I'm not going to be using 8,500 gas to collect because as you go forward and collect crew, you also need to blend them to reduce the amount of crew that you have. This is on the ship itself so that the price goes down. So we see the price back here at 3.7k gas so back from 8500 to 3.7k gas which is where it needs to be and now i'm at zero and i've drawn all the crew that i can draw for today on this alt so doing this across a number of alts as you could imagine really accumulates over time it's a uh, less daunting less tedious than watching ads and it's a little bit faster um to do is faster to do but it takes longer to get the actual consumables because you need to get up to 1600 DNA to actually be able to collect the consumable that you can sell for upwards of 400 bucks or approximately 400 bucks. Now let me tab over to Aggressive Soap and show you guys what's going on over there. So here we are on Aggressive Soap, and I'm going to be doing this one a little speedy because it's only a few minutes over until Reset. And at Reset every day, it resets obviously back to 12 crew. So I can collect crew for 8.5k gas on Aggressive Soap right now. That was probably a bad move because I blended it and it ended up going up to 12k. So you see right there, it goes straight from 12 down to 10. Are they robbing a crew? Are they robbing a crew every day? Well, what's what's going on there? It goes straight from 12 to 10. I'm going to I'm going to put in a ticket for that. That is that is crazy. No pun intended. So now I'm low on gas. I'll need to go to my storage and collect some gas right quick. Uh, let's collect right there. Go right into it and press 12k gas. Oh, dude, did it reset? I think it reset. You see? It's reset because it's, it's um, past server time. So I'm getting a number of crew, getting a number of crew. Now it's at 19k gas. Once it's at 19k gas, that's your marker to stop. When you're at 19k gas, 9 times out of 10, you have enough crew to blend your way all the way to the end. And by to the end, I mean up until 1600. Uh, DNA and being able to collect a consumable. So I'm at 19, uh, 19,000 rather. So I go ahead and I start blending the unique crew. You see my DNA increasing in this bar. Once it's at 5 out of 5, you have to collect a consumable to reset it. So I collect something that's cheap, which is only for 40 DNA, and then I go again. So each time I blend, I'm blending 300 DNA. Now I'm out of unique crew. So this one was actually 260 DNA that I blended, and now I'm consuming 40 of that, because it's five out of five. So I do it again. I've now run out of unique crew. I have to use the elite crews. So I'm blending five of them each time, which is 100 DNA, and then consuming 40 DNA. Now I'm at 1400 and trust me, I have enough crew in my bag to get all the way up to 1600 DNA. So I'll repeat this process a few times. Again, blending at 20, blending 20, blending 20, 1540, 1560. Now I'll consume 40 and on the next blending session, I'll be above 1600 and I'll unlock the next level of items above this tier of epic which will be what I'm aiming for so immediately you see I'm at 1600 I don't have to blend anymore you see this arrow is now here that wasn't before and I can select from hero items that I want to get from the bio recycler 
me go ahead and just blend that one just for um, reference and then I'm just gonna collect a gingo right there and it's that easy that simple it's a little more complex than I make it look to be honest with you and once I collect or blend all my crew the gas amount that it's required these are all level 2 crews or rarity 2 and once I blend and reset the 1600 I can go right back to paying 500 gas only for crew and the cycle repeats itself you do this casually across a number of vaults for a few days and every three or four days you'll be um, passive not passively but pretty pretty simply pretty easily um, earning upwards of uh, 400 bucks when that market tax is finished with you though you may be seeing uh, some sort of difference going on there so essentially that's how you can make money 2021 as a free player now I just want to go ahead and touch on the key components that you'll be needing for this this is additional information you will be needing your resource collectors on your ship for obvious reasons every 24 hours or so these guys um, stack up a significant amount of um, resources that you'll need and the bio recycler is the most important room for this strategy of earning money this room will 100% need to be at level 5 before you can even attempt to do what I'm doing here let me say that again the bio recycler room needs to be at level 5 and it can only be upgraded to level 5 once your ship is level 11 so it's gonna take some time for you to actually set up the ship to be able to do all that you see that I'm doing which is why it's very passive to do this and you won't be something that anyone can just jump up and start doing right away I've had these all ships for quite some time as you guys have known if you've been following the channel so I've had time to cultivate it and I just let it run I don't even pressure it you know so anyway guys that's pretty much my time Thank you for sticking around, watching the video. If there's any questions you got, let me know down in the comment section below. Like, share, comment, subscribe, tell your friends about it. Thanks for tuning in, and I will see you in the next one.